Hello everybody. So today I want to talk about Kaku Plus. The topic that is about application of integration. So now I want to show you how to answer. We know that the dam with the curve that is about y equals to 0.8x to the power of 2 below the light y equals to 120. Now we need to graph the function. Now, the next one, we need to know that the water level is 24 meters below the top of the dam. So that means from this one, we have 120. Now we need to minus about 24. So the water level should be in here. And this one, we have 96. So the water in here. Now the next one, we need to set up about the integration. To calculate about the force. So we remember that the pressure that is about the density of the water multiply by gravity and the height and the next one we have the pressure equals to the force divided by the area so the question they want to find the force that is about this one so we put h go to the left And now we have this one and we can put this one go in here and now we have force equals to the density of the water, gravity, the height and the area. So this is the technique how to set up about the integration. So we look on the diagram. We have this one. Now we can use this one to find the value of s. So we divide both sides by 0 0.8. And later that we put the square root for the both side. So we have positive and negative y over 0 0.8 equals to s. Now we can see that this one in here that is about s equals to the square root of y over 0 0.8 and this one that is about s equals to negative of the square root of y over 0 0.8 now we want to find the area we can use the integration in this area in here later that we can multiply by number two because this is about the symmetric. So we can set up about the integration. So we can see that we start at number 0 
and we stop off 96 so we start in here go in here so that should be about the interaction from 0 to 96 so we have 1000 we put in here gravity that is about 9.8 And the height, so we can see that the height that should be about this one. So we start in here, go in here. So we have the height that is about 96 minus y. So because when we go in here to here, that's why we have 96 minus y because we need to find the area when they go to this boy go to this boy so the next one that is about the area we can see that we have s equal to the square root of y over 0 0.8 this line in here that is about s equals to number zero so to find the area we can use about the upper function minus the lower function. This one to find the area in the positive value. So the upper function that is about this one. The lower function that is about number zero. Because this is about zero, we can simplify like this. Next, this one, we just calculate one area in here. This one, they have the same. So we need to multiply by number two. So I will put number two in here. And we have the y. And we just finished about setting up this integration. Now we need to calculate this one. So we have number 2 multiplied by this one. And we have 19,600. The square root of 0 0.8, I will put this one cone here. So we have the integration from 0 to 96. So 96 multiplied by the square root of y and y with the square root of y. So we have like this. Because the square root of y, that is about y to the power of 1 over 2 now we have the final answer the integration of this one that is about y to the power of 1 over 2 plus 1 over 1 over 2 plus 1 Similar for this one. Now, we put 96 going here. Number 0 going here. So, if we calculate this one, we have 5, 2, 7, 6, 6, 4, 5, 1, 9, point three Newtons. And this is the final answer. This is the end. Thank you for watching.